The most effective strategy to do no contact with the narcissist. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us on our channel once again. In today's discussion, we're going to delve into the most effective method of implementing no contact. It's widely understood that when you're entangled with a narcissistic individual who exudes toxicity, adopting a no contact approach is essential for reclaiming your peace. Let's clarify something important about no contact. The primary reason for choosing this path is to facilitate our own healing and peace of mind. It's not about punishing the narcissist. When faced with the harsh reality that a narcissist is incapable of resolving conflicts due to their unwillingness to acknowledge their mistakes or accept responsibility, it becomes clear that seeking resolution is futile. Narcissists habitually deny the existence of problems, lie, or ignore issues, hoping they will vanish on their own. On the rare occasion, they do acknowledge a problem, they often manipulate the situation to place the blame on you. The sad truth is, finding a resolution with a narcissist is a goal that will never be achieved. The decision to go no contact might follow countless efforts to mend the relationship, efforts that are met with gaslighting, indifference, or outright neglect. The pain of being in such a relationship can become intolerable. This strategy may also arise from the necessity of initiating a reverse discard, particularly when faced with a narcissist's dishonesty and lack of transparency. In such situations, letting go becomes not just a choice, but a necessity for your own well-being. You might find yourself with someone who claims to care or love you, yet their actions starkly contradict their words. Their indifference to your presence and lack of investment in the relationship become evident. Therefore, trusting your instincts is crucial, they often lead you to the truth. Actions speak louder than words, and the way someone makes you feel is a true indicator of their influence on your life. Be cautious during the initial stages of a relationship with a narcissist. The love bombing phase might make you feel extraordinary, but remember, these early days are just the beginning. While it's natural for people to present themselves in the best light at the start, it's towards the end of the relationship, when the facade starts to crumble, that a narcissist's true character emerges. Reaching the decision to enforce no contact with a narcissist is immensely challenging, yet crucial for your well-being. It's important to understand the journey of no contact is inherently difficult, often feeling akin to mourning a significant loss. This person, whom you envisioned sharing a significant part of your life with, whether as a partner or a family member, turns out to be someone who cannot offer you the support and presence you expected. Acknowledging this reality is painful. As you embark on the no contact path, be prepared to experience a roller coaster of emotions, including sadness, depression, and anxiety. These feelings are natural components of the healing process, signifying the loss of someone important in your life and coming to terms with the fact that this individual will not change. The essence of no contact is to allow yourself the space and peace necessary for healing. However, no contact can be complicated, especially when there are unavoidable ties, such as shared children or family connections with the narcissist. In these scenarios, adopting a strategy known as gray rocking becomes essential. Gray rocking involves maintaining minimal, unemotional contact and giving away as little information as possible to avoid giving the narcissist any leverage over you. When the situation allows for complete, no contact, it's imperative to fully commit to it. This means cutting off all forms of communication with the narcissist, including blocking them on all social media platforms and ensuring your own profiles are private to prevent any form of indirect contact. The goal is to eliminate any potential triggers that could arise from seeing their updates or allowing them to see yours, which could lead to manipulative tactics through mutual contacts. When a narcissist can't reach you directly, they often resort to involving others causing unnecessary distress or agitation. Choosing not to fully implement no contact with a narcissist can lead to two major emotional challenges, profound sadness or intense anger. This emotional turmoil could arise from witnessing the narcissist flaunting a new relationship on social media, which can either deeply hurt or infuriate you. It's important to recognize that narcissists are aware when you continue to observe their online activities. This awareness often drives them to publicly display their new relationships early on, aiming to provoke you. The reason behind this behavior is their inability to accept responsibility for the breakup, 
instead placing all blame on you while attempting to aggravate you further. If you do not restrict the narcissist's access to your social media, or if your profiles are open to the public, they may attempt to unsettle you. One common tactic includes liking photos of you with someone new, which is a deliberate act to disrupt your peace of mind and make you question their intentions. Such actions are not gestures of care, but rather attempts to remain in your thoughts, hindering your ability to move on. This underlines the critical importance of cutting off all forms of social media interaction with the narcissist. Viewing their life updates or allowing them to see yours will only impede your healing process. It is natural to feel curious about their life post-breakup, especially when you are hurting. However, it is essential to remind yourself of the reasons behind the breakup and the narcissist's harmful behavior towards you. Documenting these reasons might help in keeping your resolve strong. Maintaining any form of contact with the narcissist, including through social media, prevents complete healing and personal growth. It can also negatively impact new relationships, as unresolved feelings and memories of the narcissist might lead to unfair comparisons or doubts. The most effective strategy to free yourself from their influence is to eliminate all social media connections, thereby removing them from your life and thoughts, and allowing yourself the space to heal and move forward. Embarking on a journey of no contact with a narcissist means confronting the initial waves of loneliness and boredom. The dramatic dynamics of a relationship with a narcissist, though toxic, often leave a void when removed. Once the decision for no contact is made, the constant engagement through calls and texts abruptly stops, leading to feelings of isolation and sadness. It's during these moments that doubts may creep in, possibly making you question whether the problem in the relationship was you especially if the narcissist had a habit of devaluing you and shifting blame towards you before the breakup. It's crucial during these times to hold on to the reality of the situation. If the narcissist truly valued and wanted to mend the relationship, you would still be together. However, their actions demonstrated a prioritization of their ego over the relationship. Their unwillingness to put aside pride and work things out is a clear indication of their true intentions. A narcissist's self-absorption prevents them from genuinely loving someone since true love often requires humility and sacrifice, qualities a narcissist lacks. Implementing no contact isn't just about cutting off direct communication. It extends to severing ties with anything connected to the narcissist, including mutual friends or their family, to prevent any information from being relayed back to them. These connections, however indirect, can still provide a pathway for the narcissist to re-enter your life, possibly attempting to manipulate your emotions through tactics like hoovering or love bombing. Narcissists often keep tabs on your life post-breakup, sometimes through multiple social media profiles, to reassure themselves that you're not better off without them. Their interest in your activities isn't rooted in concern, but in a desire to affirm that their departure hasn't led to your happiness or success. This behavior underscores the importance of no contact and distancing yourself from anything that could serve as a bridge back to the narcissist. The path to recovery and rebuilding starts with this decisive separation, allowing you to focus on healing and moving forward without the shadow of the narcissist looming over you. If you move on and flourish, it might upset the narcissist, making them regret losing someone valuable or seeing you with someone appreciable. However, the goal is to eliminate the narcissist's influence from your life, not to provoke their jealousy, which could lead to further manipulation attempts. Narcissists are skilled in persuasion, often professing love or remorse, and may even promise to seek therapy as a gesture of change. But such commitments are typically superficial, aimed at retaining you rather than genuine self-improvement. Their return to old behaviors is inevitable, because it reflects their true nature and habitual patterns. Maintaining distance from anyone connected to the narcissist is crucial. If unavoidable interactions occur, such as with family members, it's vital to keep details of your life confidential. This includes avoiding sharing information with those who might inadvertently act as intermediaries to the narcissist. Establishing this boundary is essential for your tranquility, as any form of communication can inadvertently nourish the narcissist's ego and potentially lead to further complications. The strategy involves becoming virtually invisible to the narcissist and their circle, ensuring they receive no updates about your life. 
This approach aims to eliminate any disturbances from the narcissist, fostering a peaceful environment conducive to healing. The objective is to achieve a state of radio silence, accepting the quiet as a necessary condition for recovery and moving forward without the narcissist's shadow looming over your progress. The essence of our journey involves maintaining a focus on moving forward, recognizing that experiences with a narcissist belong to our past. This recognition entails acknowledging that while our past with the narcissist is unchangeable, it's crucial to leave it behind and embark on a new chapter in our lives. This new chapter should prioritize surrounding ourselves with supportive people, be it friends, family, or new acquaintances who uplift us rather than bring us down. Our attention must be on the present and future, cultivating a life filled with positive relationships. Accepting that healing and rebuilding our lives will take time is vital. Many people express difficulty in moving past their experiences with a narcissist even years later. This struggle usually stems from two main issues. Firstly, there might be a failure to fully acknowledge the toxic nature of the narcissist. It's beneficial to methodically list out and analyze the negative behaviors exhibited by the narcissist, such as gaslighting, manipulation, and overall toxicity. This exercise, done in writing, can help in seeing the relationship for what it truly was. Secondly, reminiscing about the narcissist often occurs when one feels a void in their life. In conversations, when individuals mention missing the narcissist, it often surfaces that they haven't found someone who captivates them in the same way. However, it's crucial to remember that the intense connection felt with the narcissist was not rooted in genuine love, but rather in chemistry or lust, often mistaken for love. Real love involves mutual sacrifice and effort without expecting anything in return, which is rarely the case in relationships with narcissists. The initial attraction to a narcissist can feel overwhelmingly intense, akin to a whirlwind romance, but it's important to recognize this as a facade. The promises and future plans shared by the narcissist were never grounded in reality, but were rather manipulative tactics to exploit your emotions. In contrast, building a meaningful relationship requires time, patience, and mutual effort, starting from the ground up. It's about gradually developing a connection, unlike the illusionary peak presented by the narcissist. Every time you're tempted to reconnect with that narcissist, it's crucial to pause and reflect on the reality of the situation. Remember how they squandered your time and dismissed your genuine emotions, treating you as if you were naive for being authentic. This should be a clear signal to step back and firmly decide, no, I refuse to reach out or contact this narcissist. Their actions demonstrated a lack of genuine care. Had they truly valued you, they would have made an effort to resolve conflicts and support you during your lows. Narcissists are incapable of offering the support and sacrifice required in a relationship. Life is full of challenges, financial strains, health issues, or parenting hurdles. Imagine facing these with a partner who is inherently selfish, who would rather avoid responsibility than stand by you. Particularly in parenting, where narcissists often shy away from the commitment and hard work required, envisioning such a scenario should reinforce your decision against rekindling anything with them. The principle of no contact is implemented precisely for these reasons. It's about completely severing ties, denying the narcissist any attention or energy from you. It's a reminder to recall your worth and the sincere effort you invested in the relationship, only to be undervalued. Now, with the power of hindsight and regained strength, you recognize the manipulation and acknowledge that the narcissist does not deserve a place in your life. Hence, regardless of whether the narcissist attempts to re-enter your life in the future, be it in days, months, or even decades, you maintain your stance of not engaging with them. I, myself, experienced a narcissist attempting to return after a significant period. My response was unequivocal, I blocked him. This decision was rooted in the memory of his actions and the firm resolution that I would never allow such negativity back into my life. It's a declaration of being finished with that chapter, an assertion that, regardless of any change or plea, the person remains unworthy of your time and energy. It's crucial to understand that a narcissist's behavior is deeply ingrained in their personality. They lack the ability to engage in self-reflection or express genuine remorse for their actions. 
Unlike individuals who acknowledge their mistakes and seek forgiveness, narcissists only regret losing control or not being able to manipulate situations to their advantage. Their apologies are not for the pain they caused, but for their failure to exploit you further. This pattern of behavior is a fundamental aspect of their character, unlikely to change regardless of their age or circumstances. Therefore, for those seeking a serene and fulfilling life, it's vital to keep such individuals at bay. Labeling them as demons might seem harsh, but it underscores their absence of empathy and truthfulness, traits that are incompatible with a spiritually and morally aligned life. Engaging with a narcissist only leads to loss of time, financial resources, relationships, and peace of mind. Acknowledging this truth is the first step towards healing and moving forward. During moments of solitude or boredom, it's essential to remind yourself of the reasons why you're better off without such toxic influences in your life. Instead of succumbing to loneliness, find ways to enrich your life, whether through music, exercise, nature walks, or social groups. The goal is to rebuild and strengthen yourself, far removed from the destructive shadow of a narcissist. In conclusion, recognizing and maintaining a no-contact stance with a narcissist is key to preserving your well-being and happiness. If this message resonates with you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more insights. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video to help spread awareness. Together, we can support each other in our journeys toward recovery and empowerment. Have a wonderful day.